on record, I believe 350 miles straight is at, at 80 hours and 44 minutes is the longest you've been out. Yeah, and, 80 hours and been changed. Do we know of any other human being that's gone that far? You know, I'm, I'm doing some research on uh, Pheidippides, who's yeah. the original Greek yeah. uh, messenger. And if, if the story is true, which is very hard to tell because of, you know, what he did was took place 2,500 years ago, he might have run further than that uh, without, without stopping. And even engaging wow. in a battle with the Persians on, on, at Marathon in the midst of that run. So wow. I, I, don't, I think humans can go further than we think we can and we're better than we think we are. And I think that, you know, sleep running taught me something that... <laughs> wait, wait, but, whoa, whoa. Yeah. What is that? This is awesome. Yeah, what is that? <laughs> well, I mean, it's, it wasn't something I chose to do, but I mean, it literally woke up in the middle, of, you know, running down the middle of the road, and I thought, what just happened? I mean, I know better than to run down the middle of the road and kind of meander back over the shoulder, and it happened again. I was falling asleep and just willing my body to keep going uh, but I think the most remarkable um, element of, of that whole ordeal is that I woke up kind of refreshed. So awesome. Like your body just naturally refresh. It has to sleep. It takes a cat nap. It comes out of rejuvenated, and I just kept going. One of our we one of the things we experience or see all the time is that there's no off button. We're seeing that more and more that people can go as far as they want to go. We see people run through broken bones and play football with bones sticking out, and and so. It ends up becoming an intellectual process. How, what are your strategies? You know, I think that you have to push yourself to failure. And only when you fail do you find out, you know, how far you can go. If you're not pushing yourself to failure, you're not trying hard enough. Right. So through failure, I've learned a lot more than I have through any success. I mean, success is celebrated, right? Yeah, we you know, pulled it off or we won this race, whatever. You don't learn that much. When you fail, you go through a lot of self-analysis. You really look at things, you dissect. Uh, for instance, the sleep running. I mean, it intrigued me. Like, if I could train myself to sleep run, you know, how far could I go? So I started studying migratory birds. And there's actually some, a, a bird that travels 6,000 miles without stopping. And what it does, it flies to a very high altitude, which induces a drowsiness it actually falls asleep and glides downward, and then when it gets into a lower, more oxygen-rich altitude, it wakes back up, and that's how it sleeps. It doesn't stop for 6,000 miles. And I thought, that's just incredible. I just and can find a over. good hill, <laughs> just crest, glide down. crest Towns Pass, and then just yeah. fall down. Yeah. Yeah. I just think of the implications on like long-distance driving for myself. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah.